right, let's give this a try. <laughs> okay. So, now, Jordan, you brought up a very interesting topic. Real quick, do you know how I found this game? No. I went on eBay and bought a blind box of NES games. Blind meaning that, like, the person was blind. <laughs> I, th I, thought, I thought the NES games were blind. Yeah. Like, they couldn't meaning, tell like, like, we think it's a copy of Little Samson, but we're it not sure. It feels like it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, no, it was just a game, a box of games in oh. various condition. Okay, I can and hold or press the button repeatedly. Hold or press to, to boost <laughs> through. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look how much faster I can shoot when I'm pressing rapidly. Yeah, that's why I was If I hold. Motion. Oh, no wonder why the button's a little sweaty. So the game showed up, and I'm like, Dragon Spirit? Mm -hmm. And I booted it up, and I'm like, oh, it's a shmup. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. And that's my so, story with this game. Wow. And now we're playing it. <laughs> How many shmups have you played in your life? A lot. Now, is oh, Ghostbusters you a shmup? those, yeah. No. Okay, why not? Which, I mean, which Ghostbusters? Wait, did you say all? Ghostbusters all, is a shmup? It is Ghostbusters a shmup, and I said, why isn't it? Uh, most are, I mean, the, one of the <laughs> NES, or the original NES one has that side-scroller bit. That NES that feels like a ruined shmup. my life. More or less than oh, Dragon Warrior. Climbing, climbing uh, less, less. It, I never got to that point, actually. I think you're supposed to pick those up. All right. Yeah, get them. Yeah, they're good for you. Oh, also oh. bomb those little blue things. Yeah, it's uh, okay. More things. So wait, why did why Dragon did Ghostbusters heads. ruin your childhood? Oh, uh, it was just a horrible NES game, and I I wish it was a better game because I liked Ghostbusters. I think it was fun until you had to climb those fucking stairs. Uh, wait, you got all the way there? Yeah, that's I mean, really I was far gonna say game. that's really, really far. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. the end. That's the end. I yeah. mean, also catching the ghosts is ridiculous. You got like it's the end up until Zool. The Zol building. So, Ghostbusters, the movie, has come out. It's gross. The movie, the game? The movie. I think the it's movie. the new... I'm sorry. The movie, the Ghostbusters game. Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, because I was going to say Ghostbusters came out 30 years ago. Yeah, well, you'd think that, And I've seen it. I love it. So, so but that's not what you're talking no, about. No. You you're talking about... I'm talking about the, new, him, the new Ghostbusters. I'm the sorry, cartoon. I'm, no. I'm talking about the new Ghostbusters movie from 2016 with the uh, the new oh, cast of Is characters. that the one they're calling Bridesmaids colon Ghostbusters? Are they really? Jesus fuck. Really? God oh. damn. I, I guess. Are you I being know. serious? Has, that's has, what, has uh, it been uh, said before? Yeah, in our I mean, slash movies, from... that's what everyone was saying. Yeah. Wow. Well, here's here's the thing. and I, I didn't know what that meant because I haven't seen Bridesmaids. Uh, I've never seen Bridesmaids either. If you've seen Bridesmaids... So wait, why did you guys, guys both react that way if you haven't seen the movie? Well, so though, there's a... As, as you, there's a lot of heat. I, I think there's it's written and directed by the same people. Well, here's the thing that... Okay, so I've watched a lot of online reviews about it because I have no urge to see this movie. Um, well, Rob, you're going to get us executed with this. The SAW is already like Where are we going with this, Rob? No, no, For the I, record, I cannot wait to see this movie. Jordan, blink twice. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I just I just don't have an urge to see it. Um, so the whole thing is that, that baffles me is this. Now, as James Rolfe has, oh, God. has said, poor James Rolfe, by the way, has gotten so much heat for just having an opinion that he's like, yeah, like, I'd, I'd really... Well, you can't have an opinion anymore. Well, no. I, well, you can only have an opinion, Steve, if it goes towards the narrative of... Is of, that your opinion, of, Rob? <laughs> of, uh, of the new age of... Um, Burn the witch! I guess... Uh, it's social justice. So wait, what happened? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What happened with James, James Rolfe? So James Rolfe put up a video. Uh huh. Oh boy. Ex yeah, already trouble. Are, are, we, right? are, we shoot, are we shooting straight to Kotaku right now? Yeah, we're going. We're going right. We're going right to Kotaku. Uh, <laughs> please send us to Kotaku. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else I hate? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the problem is, is that they're, 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 they're literally, he was well spoken because I, I love James Rolfe and what he does. I think he's well spoken. He's He was not being the angry video game nerd, he was just being himself, expressing why he was disappointed in the direction that they took the Ghostbusters franchise. Also, and, yeah. I would just say that James Rolfe, I think his opinion has a bit of weight when it comes to filmmaking because he's always been a big fan of that. I right? I he's not agree. just a video game guy. He, he, yeah, if, you, if you've ever just you're absolutely right Steve if you ever viewed his like movie critiques and and his it's like even like his Halloween specials he does like each year like he's got a lot of insight into what makes movies really good what he likes about movies what he doesn't like about movies and he's his opinions are of course opinions but he expressed himself by saying you know he didn't really like the direction that the Ghostbusters franchise was going with this movie he really didn't have an urge to see a reboot of it um and he explained why it had it had nothing to do with the with the all female cast. That You're was such not, a sexist piece of shit, Rob. It had nothing to do and with a that. Racist. And a racist. While we're at it, <laughs> it had nothing to do with xenophobe, anti-Semite. <laughs> oh my goodness! It had nothing to do with. And you hate dragons. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. You more hate time. dragons. That's what I just learned. You hate dragons. Jordan, you want to try this? Dragonphobe. Well, I mean, sure. Because I'm. Let's uh, do it. Okay. Now, so in any case, <laughs> were you about to take that back? Yeah. I, I thought so. It sounded like he was surprised when I said yes. He's like, oh, uh. What a piece of shit. I don't think you were going to say no. Well, then just don't offer. No. <laughs> don't offer. Hey, would you would you like uh, would you like a copy of Little Samson? Yes. Uh, I, was, I, was, I, was hope, I was hoping you'd say no. I was hoping you wouldn't say yes. I didn't really want to give it to you. Yeah, I didn't really want to give it to you. Trying to sound nice. Well, I apologize. 
I apologize. So you know what, Rob? Yeah. If you weren't such a charming young lad, <laughs> I would be very angry right I'm now. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not that angry. So, in any case, James, James puts up this video. I, li I watched the whole thing. I thought it was very... There's nothing sexist about it. There's no misogyny <laughs> there. The internet. This, this poor guy, James Rolfe. Really this nice poor, This poor seriously. world famous. No, seriously. He, <laughs> yeah, okay. he didn't do anything to deserve this backlash. So much backlash. And people are like... I've missed all of this. People, I am fucking... In, I, am, I am locked in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people on Facebook are calling him sexist. They're like, just completely... I have to see what he, what he, and, what he, what he posted. And or is he like, still up? It's a good just video. Full, yeah, it's a great video. Full, to preface this, I saw these you comments... You hate women. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I saw these comments first. So I'm like, holy shit, did like James jump off the deep end? Like, what the like fuck? Like, you figured he went like completely loony like, or something? Yeah, I thought he was like, you know, like, I can't believe they're doing all women cast, like this and that. Not at all. Completely the opposite. There's a very well-spoken, like, you know, synopsis as to, like, why he doesn't want to see it. And I, I forgot in the, the full Is he well-liked and well-regarded He was. He community? was. He was a long time ago. <laughs> not anymore. So... I just want to point out real quick, I love the fact that Jordan is is trying to go for the bombing run first, and when they, mm -hmm. they take he off, he then switches. Very nice. Thank very you. Sure. I'm just appreciating your place playing here. Before. I have played this game a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 24 yeah. hours of this game. Hey, I, I'm, a doing, big, I'm a big fan of this game. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Jordan's doing great. So, in any case... <sighs> Um, uh, he, he, he got a lot of heat for, for this video, undeservingly. And uh, the, for me, I don't want to see it because I've read enough about it. But Rob, you have to see this it. This is what baffles me. This is what James <laughs> actually says. He points out how when you do sort of like these reboots or like you're continuing a franchise, just how important it is for people who really love these franchises to tie in the old characters. And he references several movies, one of which, of course, is the newest Star Wars. Of course, they didn't have to get Harrison Ford. They didn't have to get, oh my God, I'm forgetting who plays Carrie Princess Fisher. Leia. Carrie Fisher, thank you. They didn't have to bring back Chewbacca, but they understood that tying in the Or old... the stunt double that plays Chewbacca the entire movie. Yeah, they, they didn't, they, Sorry. They, yeah, they, they didn't, <laughs> they, they, didn't <laughs> they didn't have to bring those back, but it ties together the old generation and the new. And the part that baffles me about Ghostbusters, having not even seen it but read enough about it, do you guys care if I give a mild Ghostbusters spoilers here? Uh, if you do not want a mild Ghostbusters spoiler, now is the time to switch over to one of our other I videos. don't want a spoiler. Yeah. Well, it's I'm, not, I'm okay with it, it. it. Okay, it's not so much a spoiler, it's just who's in the movie. What? Oh, well, I mean... Are you, are oh, oh like gonna... there, are, there are people that show up in the movie that aren't in the... Yes. So if I just saw the trailer, you're yes. telling me you're going you're to expose to me some people that I wouldn't have seen. Come on! Yes, you also died Which with Which of those conch shells? So, Jordan, do you mind? I... Am I gonna? You want me to, how me to how big ears? of a spoiler? Like to me, is it like Steve Buscemi's in the movie, and I'm gonna be like, oh, like I would have like. Wait, to I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to place that on your scale. <laughs> there's there's cameos like, in the movie. Steve Buscemi's there's, the man. There's I several. Love him. There's several cameos in the movie. Well, is, we know who's is not. One, in. the ghost of Go either ahead. Bill Murray or Sean Bean. Well, hold on That's, a second. No, Bill Murray is is alive and kicking. Yes. Oh, but um, not in our franchise. Yeah, not, no, I don't know about uh, that. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Am I close? Yeah. Okay, then I don't want to know. Well, you've already... Okay. I got, it wait, is wait. Steve Buscemi. So, it was this Steve Buscemi? Yeah. No, so in any case, let me just say that if they wanted to tie in some aspects of the old franchise with the new, they easily could have. And I think from a story writing standpoint, it would have been... And they even made a trailer that made no sense. If you remember the trailer, that's like 30 years ago, four on yeah, like that made heroes. no sense. And meanwhile, it's, it has nothing to do with the old... It's a reboot. So to yeah, me, to me, to me, I think what would have saved this film... Um, I think Does the have, film need saving? Yes. Oh. That it, apparently it's not making nearly as, enough money. They, they've already announced a sequel. It must, have done, really? it must have done well. The, uh, yeah. Apparently it didn't do well at all. The director is like, t he's already talked about how they're working on a sequel, or are going Jeez. to start pre-production oh on a sequel. Well, I, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, but, oh my. Uh, but ultimately, um, I think... I just play devil's advocate. Yeah, it no, might no, not no, need I, saving. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I, I think what could have... I think what, I think what would have made it less controversial, though is if it was like the next generation of Ghostbusters and the old Ghostbusters passed down mm. to this new generation. Yeah, I, I agree. Think, and I think for, it just, it, it makes, it, I'm sorry, I'm spinning. I'm sorry guys, it, let me stop for a second. I'm, I'm getting room, room, uh, word from the control room. Yes, Steve. <laughs> uh, they, uh, so it's, they're saying that they're saying uh, we're being the way estimated too budget serious. for okay. Ghostbusters was uh, 150. Four million? Yeah, that's okay. right. Uh, and the box office gross was 122.9 million. Okay, so below so its budget. On one wiki? One wiki? Okay, so it's making okay. It's doing okay. I guess. So, I mean, it's not going to yeah. host. It isn't, yeah. isn't, it, isn't, it isn't in the black yet, so. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for that, Steve. Uh, yeah. so you got, we guys, need our guys. control room to buzz in more often. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, Th thanks, guys. So <laughs> ultimately, I guess that if they would have done that, I think a lot of people would have not been so upset um, with the movie. Uh... And uh, the, the unfortunate thing is, there was actually a really great YouTuber, and I, I wish I could remember her name. Um, I was watching it last night, 
And it's this, it's this really, you know, this really well-spoken, really cool, really cool girl. And she has like this comic based YouTube channel. And she starts talking talking about the Ghostbusters. Does she have glasses and like and shaved head, half her head? Yeah. Stop for a second. You said comic based? Yeah. What does that mean? No, I think her channel name is like Comic Girl or yeah, something. I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Think, okay, so yeah. her like theme is usually comics and such? I think that's her. I think that's okay. her. Yeah. yeah. And she, she actually brings up, she talks about Ghostbusters and how like James Rolfe was unfairly targeted. She said, he said the same things I said, but I can't be yelled at because I'm a woman, so I can't be a misogynist, Fuck, clearly. Fucking and she, she was right on point about, about the movie and about like, like, including like the old cast and like oh, how, how like the, the the sexism is like this rever- this like campaign of like reverse sexism being like if you don't like the movie you're sexist. It's just it's incredible. Rob. I have a question for you. Yeah. Who defeated me? The dark power defeated Jordan in Area One. So of none Dragon of us were Spirit. able. All three of us tried. And none of us well, were able to I will tell you, like, it, it, the, game, yeah. the game, just to it touch, plays good. touch on this real briefly, yeah. it feels good. Like, yeah. for an NES game, yeah, yeah. it's great. And, like, yeah. it, you know, there's a little bit of, you get a little bit of a continuation, so you don't feel completely smashed when yeah. you are when you lose. Like, yeah. a, I agree. Yeah. So, like, I think, I think it's a so successful you guys, you guys give this a pass? I gotta be honest with you. If yeah. they, if so they, this they, is the pre, this is the prequel to Panzer Dragoon? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be honest, if they, it green, might be. if they green, greenlit a reboot of this called Dragon Spirit, but instead of the dragon being a male, it was a female, I would pay the pallet. I, I would too. I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I would pay to play it. <laughs> Burn the witch. <laughs> Boy, that was a serious episode. Yeah, deep. I think the um, the little text should be like on the special episode. Like SPP gets really serious. You have to name drop <laughs> AVGN in the little bio because people are. Oh, yeah, it's all gotta go in there. It, oh, just say, uh, uh, yeah. SPP talks about AVGN and Ghostbusters. I like that. Six hundred thousand views. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, like that. Right in, immediately. Right in the kissa. Thank you for thank you for listening. I love that. And thank you for watching. Man, that got like really serious. Yeah.